Hello everyone and welcome back to Bookish Ramblings. Today's video is a vlog and it is a collab with Lucy from the Lucy Chronicles so I am super excited. So what we're doing for this collab is we are reading each other's favorite books for a week and this should be very interesting because as much fun as we have together we don't often love the same books. Fantasy, historical, those are anti-buzzwords for her. She reads a lot of contemporary romance, which I do like some of, but it's not my number one genre. I am a fantasy and historical girly, so I think this is going to be very interesting. I'm a little bit nervous, but also excited. We do like some of the same things, so it's not like a hopeless cause. I think she chose five books for me, and I chose five books for her, and we're not going to have to like read all five books in a week. This is just kind of so we have some options, and if something doesn't work out and we DNF it, we'll have other stuff to choose from. So I've been struggling to narrow down only five books because because I have so many favorites and I don't know what would be the best ones to recommend to her. So I've been like probably way overthinking this, but I want to give her like the best possible books that I can. I'm not feeling super confident in my list. I'm scared she's going to hate all the books. Um, I don't know what her choices for me are yet, but we're going to FaceTime and reveal each other's book picks to each other in just a minute. So I'm very excited, but also nervous. I'm expecting contemporary romance and I'm not sure what else. So let's find out. Okay. I'm so scared. <laughs> I'm nervous. Be scared. Don't be afraid. I mean, maybe be a little afraid. I don't know. Okay. So I've only given three five stars away this year. Okay. So far to 24. So my first three are going to be the five stars that okay. I gave this year. Um, the first one is All That Really Matters. Uh, okay. Three. Okay. I've heard so this many things about on, this book. This one's on KU. Okay, cool. The second one is Dangerous Beauty by Melissa Coastland. I just checked that out from the library today. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'll save it. I'll save it. Okay. Cause that, I was going to say, that's the only one. That's one that's not on KU. Okay. Um, and then the third five star I gave away is Wonder. Have you read Ooh. this one yet? Okay, I haven't read it. I saw the movie, though. Okay, and then there are two on KU that I have, like, as backups for you in case something goes awry with one of those three. I think you mentioned you read My Phony Valentine, but you haven't read this one yet? Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the first. Okay. I, I was interested in reading that okay. one, so this is good. Are you still scared? I'm a little scared. Are you still scared? <laughs> okay. I had trouble, like, choosing, because I don't want to just give you all, like, contemporary romances, you know uh -huh. what I'm saying? But, like, I don't really have any, like, fantasy to recommend to you, so. Plus, ugh, I can't. Do you know what it is? Yeah, the beaches, bungalows, and burglaries. Yeah. It's, it's so cute. cute. This is a commitment, because there are 30 books. Oh, this really? Series. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, like, like, a hundred and some pages. Like, it's really short. Uh -huh. I hope you don't find a book. <laughs> Editing CC here. So a little disclaimer I would like to give on behalf of Lucy about this book is she said she gave this book three and a half stars so it wasn't a favorite but she couldn't think of like a fifth book to give me. If it was me I would want the disclaimer out there that it's not a favorite just so you know but yeah I just thought I would throw that in there. Okay bye. <laughs> I thought that one of your books was gonna be To Kill a Mockingbird and I was very nervous about that one. Oh <laughs> I almost chose that. I was like, it's in here, girl. How can I be totally evil? It's like, I'll make her read The Wizard of Oz. I'll make her read No, Club. not The Wizard of Oz. The first Harry Potter. And then... I would have cried. <laughs> Thank you for not doing that to me. You're welcome. You're welcome. Two weeks later. Hi, you guys. It is finally time to start the collab, and I am super excited. I've been counting down the days. So the first book from Lucy's List that I'm going to start with is Dangerous Beauty by Melissa Coslin because this is the book I'm most excited about. Lucy said maybe I should end with this book in case I hate all of the other books that she picked, and I can at least end on, like, a good note. But I feel like I should read what I'm most excited for because if I read something that I don't feel like reading, there's a better chance I won't like it. So I'm going to start with this one because this is what I'm in the mood for. Also, I got this from the library a while ago 
because I was gonna read this for the Beaches and Books readathon, but then Lucy chose this for our collab, so I couldn't read it, so I've just been holding on to it since I got it from the library, and I wanna go ahead and read it and return it to the library so I don't owe any late fees because that's why I stopped going to the library because I never returned books on time and then I always owed money. I'm gonna start this one, I'm super excited. It is Christian Contemporary Romance and it has Marriage of Convenience. So I'm gonna predict this might be a four star book. It is Sunday, by the way, also, if you want to see the books that I chose for Lucy to read, you're going to have to go watch her video. So I'm going to link her video down in the description below. So be sure to watch her video. You probably have suspicions, but if you want to know, you're going to have to go watch her video. I'm just so super excited for this collab. It's, it's so fun. I'm going to heat up my coffee because it's gotten cold and then I'm going to start Dangerous Beauty. <laughs> This guy, don't mess with this guy. <laughs> This guy doesn't waste any time. This is only page 17. This book has given me whiplash just because so many things happened so quickly. Like I didn't even have time to process before something else was happening. I'm only in the middle of chapter two, but we just like rushed through like so much stuff and action and just everything just happened so quickly. It's good. It's interesting. I'm going to try to get like some good reading done and I'll update you again only if something really exciting or crazy happens. The next day. I finished Dangerous Beauty this morning before work and it was very good. I think I'm going to give it four and a half stars. I was thinking about five stars, but I have to be honest, I did really like Merrick. He was a really good character and he had a lot of good qualities, but he also got on my nerves a little bit. <laughs> I'll talk more about it later just because I don't really feel like talking about it right now. I'm tired and I just want to read. Yeah, overall, I really liked it. It was really good. It was really hard to put down. The author's really good at keeping things moving and it's like well-paced to like keep you interested. I'm really interested in reading Never Miss. I've heard good things about that one as well. And so now I'm going to start Wonder by R.J. Palacio. If I remember the author, I can't remember. <laughs> So I've seen the movie back when it first came out and I remembered it being good, but I've never been interested in reading the book, but I found out that it's actually a middle grade book and I thought it was gonna be an adult book told from like the mom's perspective. I don't know why I thought that, but it's not. It's a children's book and it's from the boy's perspective. And so I'm actually not as nervous to read that as I was before. So I think there's actually a chance that I'm gonna like this now. And I got the ebook from my library. It says it's only 97 pages and I don't know if that's right. If it is, that's gonna be great. I can like knock this out like tonight. But it says it's gonna, it it's gonna, it's a three and a half hour book, but it's only 97 pages. So something's not adding up. One of those numbers is wrong. So I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna start reading and I'll, I'll let you know how the book goes. The next day. I finished Wonder and it was actually really good. I really liked it a lot. It was more than 97 pages because when I would flip the pages in the ebook, I would flip pages before the page number actually changed. It was kind of frustrating because I was reading last night and I read for like over three hours straight and it said I was only on page 67 and I was like, this is really, this is really frustrating. So yeah, I don't know how many pages it was actually, but it took me several hours to read the whole thing. I finished it this morning. It was funny. Main characters, it's fifth grade 
Augie, the main character, is 10. And so seeing, like, the kids uh, talking to each other and they're just so funny. So I was, I laughed a few times. I teared up twice. It was a very cute, very sweet story. It had its emotional moments. I've never wanted to beat up so many little kids in my life. Like I said, I did see the movie, but I couldn't really remember it. I was watching clips of it this morning to like try to see like how it was different from the book it and it is different from what I would remember I would say I like the book better it was really easy to read it did switch perspectives a few times which I thought I was gonna not like but I liked all of the perspectives they were all good I would say Justin's I liked the least because the way it was written stuff wasn't capitalized like words weren't capitalized at the beginning of sentences um when characters were talk they weren't in quotations so that was kind of weird. So I liked his the least just because of that. But otherwise, like, I thought it was all really good. Yeah, I'm gonna give it five stars. Like, that's a really big surprise for me because this is the book that I was the most nervous about that I thought I would like the least. But it was actually good. So good job, Lucy. Seven hours later. You guys, look what came. <laughs> it's here. It's beautiful. And it's really short. <laughs> It's so thin. It's not even 300 pages. I was not expecting that at all. It's kind of sad. But yeah, Winter's Maiden, book one in the Nordic Wars by Morgan L. Bussey. And y'all, there's like Vikings. I'm so excited. This blue, it's gorgeous. Let's look at what it looks like under the dust jacket. Look, I just love the design. Love, love, love so much. Ooh, ooh, so pretty. Silver foil, yes. Wow, I'm very impressed. Let's see if there's a map in here. Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous. Ooh, here we go. Oh, sorry, I'm too excited. I'm too excited. Very nice. I have to wait till next week to read this and I might just, I might just die. You might never see this video because I'll be dead. I'm literally obsessed with the cover. Literally. I'm thinking I'm going to start All That Really Matters by Nicole Dees. I think I'm gonna start that one next. So I'm gonna start tonight. Lucy is actually doing sprints with Katri, I believe, tonight. I was planning to read that Nicole Dees book, but guys, can I tell you something? I don't really want to read it. I've read a contemporary romance and a middle grade contemporary and I'm like kind of contemporary out. I don't want to read this book. I really want to read something fancy. Like I'm just, I'm not feeling it. But maybe once I start it, it'll be good and I'll get into it and I'll love it. That's what I hope, fingers crossed. But it's also like over 400 pages and that's also like, mm, why is it over 400 pages? I'm of the opinion that contemporary romance does not need to be 400 plus pages ever for any reason. But yeah, I'm gonna try that one. I wanna try that one next because those are the three main books that Lucy gave me. And then she gave me the other two books as backups if these didn't work out. So that's why I wanna make sure. I mean, I honestly, I have plenty of time. It's only Tuesday. I have plenty of time to read all five books that she gave me. So I could really read them in whatever order that I want. But in case something happens, and I don't have as much time to read or I just don't feel like reading and get burnt out. I want to make sure I at least get the three main ones that she gave me. And then after this one, I'll probably read Beaches, Bungalows, and Burglaries because it's a cozy mystery and I've never read one of those. So that'll be something kind of different. And then if I have enough time, I plan to read My Lucky Charm last. So that's the, that's the plan, you guys. It's really not that bad. It just needs a little... <laughs> Shaping <laughs> to the salon. I love it. The way I just inhaled a double cheeseburger, six nuggets, and a medium fry is actually insane. I did want to give a little reading update. I am on page like 300 and something in All That Really Matters. And that is a Christian contemporary romance book. And it is about a girl named Molly who is a fashion and makeup social media influencer. And she ends up getting involved in this what do you call it? Some kind of place. It's not a halfway house. It's something else. But yeah, she gets involved and becomes a mentor 
to the girls there and she meets this guy named silas while she's there he's like the head of like the program he's in charge and so that's what it's about and th the book has had its like ups and downs um i thought it was kind of interesting at first because i don't remember reading a book about like a social media star before so that was kind of interesting and then things got kind of a little bit boring um, but then when the romance picked up, there were some cute moments, so then it got good again. So I've been kind of up and down of like what I thought I was going to rate this, but as it stands now, I'm thinking it'll be a four star book, which honestly is better than I could have hoped. I really didn't think I would be giving this book that high of a rating because everybody loves Nicole Deese. I've heard a lot about her and her books, how things usually go. I just figured I would probably end up giving it like three or three and a half stars. So like a four is going to be really good if that's what I stick with, but it has been really good. The romance has been good. The characters have acted in a way that I can get behind, you know? Molly is cool. Silas is great. Um, Ethan, scumbag. Today is Friday. It is Friday evening and I'm planning to finish that book tonight and then I'm thinking I might start the cozy mystery the bungalows and burglaries one I'm gonna have to see how many pages it is but I think it's kind of a shorter book so I should be able to finish that one by tomorrow hopefully so yeah I'll let you know when I finish the book and if I decide to start the next one the following day ignore how tired I look I haven't well I've been awake for like probably an hour and a half at this point but I've just been sitting in bed reading and drinking my coffee. I am over halfway through. I'm at 67% in beaches, bungalows, and burglaries. It's a little under 200 pages. I figured that I could get that one finished today because today is the last day of the collab. I haven't been super into it. I don't really care for any of the characters um i i don't feel connected to any of them i don't care about them i don't care about the main character i would like to know who the killer is so i'm kind of just like skimming a lot at this point i'm not exactly reading every single word um i'm just trying to get through it to the end just to find out there's several suspects like i could be totally off here i usually just make really wild guesses and they don't always make sense my guesses are never thought out is what i'm saying i never really have like a reason for my guesses i just like throw things out there but i'm wondering about the pastor's wife bets you know like i don't know i don't think she's a suspect but maybe that's why i'm suspecting her because she's like one of the only people so far that doesn't have a motive but i'm like maybe there was something going on with her and paul i don't know she seems sweet but maybe it's all a facade i don't know i don't really have any other guesses i feel like it was one of the women like maybe he was having an affair with one of them and then they killed him when they found out a little later no we're not even at 80% yet. This isn't the end of the story. I think it was Bets. I'm sticking. I'm sticking with that. Seems suspicious to me. Or maybe it was May. Who knows? I've never read this author before. I don't know what she might do. Later. I know I updated you on All That Really Matters, but I don't think I told you if I ever finished it. So I'm giving All That Really Matters four stars. It did have some like lulls in it. I think I said that. But then once the romance started to develop between Silas and Molly, it was very cute and they had some sweet moments together and I was interested in everything that was happening at the Furcrest Manor. What was that place called? The Bridge. With like the girls and all that stuff. That was interesting. And I so appreciated. I was just um, on a FaceTime call with Lucy and I was telling her this. I so appreciated so much and this definitely helped with my rating that there was no, because something happened and I was like, oh my gosh, Silas is gonna get mad, he's gonna overreact and he's gonna be like, I can't do this with you because I can't trust you anymore. So like, I can't see you anymore and you're fired. Like, don't come back. Because that always happens in books. That did not happen. It did not happen. He was upset, understandably. But he was understanding of her and he was like, I forgive you. It's, it's okay. I love you. Everything, like, it'll be fine. And I was like, wow, wow. I, this is just amazing. You just don't see this very often. I can't even tell you how much I appreciated. There was no breakup at the end. Those make me so angry. I'm really not interested in book two because I just don't care about the characters and to see their romance in that one. I just really don't care. But I am kind of interested in Before I Called You Mine. The plot just kind of interests me. I know that that one is supposed to be a really serious toned book, 
so I might not end up liking it. But like this one was also pretty serious and I liked it more than I thought I would. So I want to give that one a try at some point. I don't know when, but eventually. I also finished Beaches, Bungalows, and Burglaries. It's not a bad book. I can see a lot of people liking it. I thought it was a decent book. It just didn't really work for me. So I'm going to give that one three stars. I'm going to say it was my least favorite out of all the books that I read for this collab. So I am realizing something while editing this video. The Beaches, Bungalows, no. The Beaches, I can't even say this. The Beaches, Bungalows, and Burglaries book doesn't make any sense because, well, first I realized there were no burglaries in this book. Did I miss something? Well, there's not a beach either, but there's a lake, so I don't know. And then where are the bungalows? Like, it's a campground with trailers and RVs and campers. I'm very confused by this title. Explain to me, Tanya. I am confusion. Explain! Explain! What do you mean? And my favorite... I am so surprised at what I'm about to say, but I think my favorite was Wonder. I think I'm gonna give that one five stars. So the, yeah, this collab has been really good. I read outside of my comfort zone and I surprised myself with what I liked. So I would say this collab was very much a success. If y'all wanna know how Lucy did with the books that I gave to her, I'm going to have her video linked down in the description. So be sure to watch that. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts on the books that I read and I'll see you in the next Book of Tramlings video.